Sharky Gamer here. So today we're taking a look at the Micro Tommy Gun. Now this is a move gun for PlayStation 3. And this is the front of the box. Now you can see just by looking at the box, it looks pretty cool. So at the top here it says Micro Tommy Gun. And of course it shows some space artwork, some crosshairs. Down here some soldiers. And that sort of reminds me of the Battlefield cover. It looks like exactly like the soldier on the Battlefield cover. And I think that's what they were going for. Um, there's some more space artwork behind here. And of course it shows you an image of the Tommy gun itself. And it looks pretty cool. Now the top of the sides of the box are pretty plain. they just got the same sort of space type background. And the back of the box is pretty much like an instruction manual on the back of the box. It doesn't really have any of the specific features or anything. It does show you a little bit of the controller down here. So it does give you a little bit of um, a view there of what it can do. It doesn't really say anything. It does have a warning here though. Um, do not brandish the Tommy gun in public as this may be dangerous. Do not modify this product to resemble a realistic weapon. It may be considered a crime. So it's got a big warning there saying that um, don't take it in public. Um, but yeah, that's about all the box has. So I'll just pull this out of the box now. And we'll have a look at this cool gun. Okay, so first off, you've got a bit of a, a manual in there, and again, this basically shows you, similar to what's on the back of the box, it just shows you how to assemble it, how to install the move controllers into it, and everything like that. So it's just got some basic instructions there. Now I'm just going to pull this all out, and then we'll go through it one by one, and I'll show you exactly what is included. Okay, so first off, looking at it, this is your gun. Now, you do get a little orange tip to put on the front there. Alright, so that is one of the configurations you can have with this thing. So, it just looks like a submachine gun. Of course, your move and navigation controller goes there. And your motion controller goes up the top there. Now, you install the move controller by just sliding those two there. There's one on there and one on the other side. You slide them and that opens up to install your move motion controller. Here's your trigger. That trigger obviously does this one here. If I pull the trigger, it hits that, which would in turn hit the move motion controller's trigger. Now there are some customization for this particular gun, and I'll go through that configuration first as there's quite a few different options you can have first off if you don't like it like it is because you could use it just like it is if you want to you can also add a scope which just slides onto the top here just like this and clips into place and then again you've got a different gun looks pretty cool and you can actually aim through that scope you can see there you can actually look through it Another configuration is in case you're playing a move game that doesn't need a navigation controller, so it doesn't need your navigation controller, which is, I'll just show you that, is this thing. So if you have a game that doesn't need this, then of course you can actually remove this part. To remove that part, you pull the orange tip off, you press those two buttons just there, and then you slide this down. And then that piece comes off, you can put that back on. And there you have a different configuration again. So, totally different type of gun, really. And of course, it's really easy to install it again. You just pop that back on. Put that back on. And there it is installed again. And of course the other feature you can, you've got a stock here, 
So you can just install that on the back here. That clips on, and if you want to remove that, there's actually a little um, plastic little lever there that you pull, and then you can slide it back off. And now it is basically a fully rifle. So it's pretty cool looking. And I'll just stand up here and I'll get a better look of it because it is pretty cool looking. There it is. That is it fully assembled. Looks pretty cool. Now, of course, the next part of it is actually installing the Move Motion Controller and Navigation Controller. So, basically, how you do that, which I'll just go through that. So, I've got these two here. Now, to install your Motion Controller, that installs up the top here. Just up there. You pull these things back, and that actually clips open. And it installs in there. Now, to install this correctly, like especially if you have a strap like I do, the wrist rest strap there, little strap, you need to thread the strap through this thing before you can clip into place. So there's actually a little gap um, between there. You need to thread this before you actually clip it in, because otherwise you won't be able to actually keep that strap on. So it just threads underneath there, and then you can pull it through. like that. And then once you've got that through, then you can align this nicely and clip it into place. Just make sure it is aligned. You've got to have that basically select button just there and the start button the other side pretty well aligned. Otherwise, this won't actually hold it properly. So I'm just going to adjust this a little bit. It clips down and that snaps into place. And you'll know it's aligned because these two buttons inside here, you've got your select there, right there. And you've got the star on the other side. These will actually click when you press them. Alright. That's when you know you've got it aligned. If they don't click down when you press them, you have to just slightly move the controller around until you get right in the center spot. So that's what it looks like with that move portion installed. And of course you can hold it just like this. And you can play the game just like this. No problem. You don't need the navigation controller with all games. And so you can just play it like this with the shoulder. You've got the shoulder stock installed and you can just hold it any way you like or you can pull this off, no problem. Pull the trigger and you can aim like that. But if you do need a, a game that needs um, the navigation controller, then of course you just install that down here in this section and you just align that into place top first and just clip it in and that snaps there. And of course you can release the trigger on the back through that hole just there. So you can walk around, you can use that trigger if you need to, and you can access all the buttons here. So that's what it looks like with everything fully plugged in, and I'll just show you again what that looks like. So it does look pretty cool. Looks pretty awesome. And of course, with these two installed, you can of course um, customize it again to wherever you like it. So if you want to pull this one off, or you want to pull the scope off, pull the stock off, you can customize it to whatever you like. So whatever you prefer when you're playing shooters, what you'd like the gun to be, you can then customize it to suit your needs. Now, this is not all the controller has to offer. Now, of course, it works just like this on its own, but it does have one extra feature. And that it has vibration. So basically the idea behind it is that when you're playing a game and you're shooting, obviously on the TV coming out from your speakers, you can hear the sounds of gunshots. But the gun itself is not providing you any feedback. So how do you add that feedback? Well, you add vibration. So I've got two batteries here. Now on the bottom of this rifle, there's actually this magazine and there's a little switch here. If you push the switch, the magazine will come out like so. And you can see in the hole there is a battery compartment for two AA batteries. You just slip them in like that. Sort of just loading a magazine with battery bullets, I guess you could say. And then you just aim it there, clip it into place, and now that's installed, you can use the vibration function. And you can use the vibration function just by pulling the trigger. I'll 
I'll try to put it closer to my microphone so you can actually hear that. So you hold it down. So the idea behind it is that you can actually feel some force like feedback when you're playing the game. So when you're hearing the gunshots on the screen and you're pulling that trigger, it's actually vibrating. So you're actually feeling some sort of, um, you're feeling like the gun is actually doing something. It's not exactly like a recoil function. Obviously, it's more like a rumble vibration function, but it's still pretty cool. And a nice little feature that added. And if you don't like the vibration feature, no problem. Just pull the batteries out. If you don't have batteries in there, then of course it won't work with the vibration. So if you don't like um, the vibration function, just pull the batteries out. If you do, then put the batteries in and enjoy having a move rifle that also vibrates as well and gives you some sort of feedback. But it looks really cool. That's the first thing you'll notice about this gun. It really does look cool. It sort of looks like a Tommy gun. It really does. It does the same thing as most move rifles. It allows you to aim, allows you to move around. Of course, that vibration function is cool. So it does pretty much the same thing. Um, it feels nice, solid. Some move rifles feel really cheap. Um, this one actually feels pretty solid, which I was actually surprised because there's actually no branding name on the box. And this seems like it's a gun from like China or something. Um, so yeah, it's like an unbranded kind of gun. So it's probably something out of China. But it actually feels really nice and solid. The plastic feels really nice. It doesn't feel like it's going to break that easily. It feels like it's a good quality rifle. Which when getting it, I was kind of surprised. I thought I had bought another rifle that was pretty cheap. But I was pleasantly surprised this is actually a good looking and feeling rifle. It's got a nice weight to it. You can hold it easily, and you can easily aim with it as well. And of course, if you like that vibration function, then that's an added bonus. But overall, it's a great working product, it's a great looking product, and it's actually pretty good quality. And it's also got a lot of customizable features. So you can have this gun any way you like, without the stock, without the scope, without the, the navigation control if you don't need it. You can completely customize this thing to the way you like it. And of course, you can easily pop those back on if you change your mind. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Probably the only thing I would say to watch out for is this top bit here with the move controller, like I mentioned before. If you don't have this aligned, the select and start buttons won't actually align with these things here, which means when you press them, they won't work. It won't actually click the button. So just make sure they're aligned. Otherwise, during game, if you want to go into start or something like that, you'll have to pull this out and realign, or just pull it out and press the button to get to start. If, if you line it properly, this little thing here will click start, and on the opposite side, it'll click. Sorry, that's select, and that's start. So that's the only probably downside. You just have to make sure that that is basically aligned properly. As long as it's aligned, you have no problem. But overall, a very great gun. Um... Yeah, I really like this gun a lot. It not only looks cool, but it works well, and it's really good quality. So this was the Micro Tommy gun for PS3 Move. I'll give you another look at it. So you guys, that's about all I can say about this one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll have heaps more controller and accessory videos up very shortly. Feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you like this video, then hit that like button. It really helps out a lot, guys. I'm Sharky Gamer. Thanks for watching.